guys and welcome back to another recipes video. Today's recipes are all breakfast recipes and they're all super easy, 100% vegan and mostly whole foods. So they are really, really healthy. And I just love these recipes because they're quick. Um, they can be done with ingredients that you already have in the house. And I'm pretty sure most of you will already have these ingredients. And if not, they're very, very cheap to buy. Um, so let's get into the video. The third and final recipe is actually a live demo So make sure you stay tuned for that and it has a very special guest helping me out So yeah, if you like more recipe videos, then give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more and let's get into the video The first recipe is something I've been making a lot of lately, which is oat cookies So basically all you need is one mushed banana. This is enough to make one portions worth and I just mush it up with a fork. It's really really easy to do and then you want to add whatever flavorings you want. I added carob powder and coconut, but you can add cinnamon, you can add anything that you want to add. Then you're gonna add your oats in. You can use fine oats or big oats, depending on what type of cookies you want. And then you just mush this all together to make this kind of consistency. Then you wanna get some brown baking paper and form these into little cookie shapes and cook them for about 10, 15 minutes at about 100 to 200 degrees Celsius. And that's it, so, so simple. Um, I make these every single day. They're the easiest thing ever and they're so delicious if you want a healthy snack. So the next recipe is overnight oats, which is a nice twist on normal oatmeal because it can be enjoyed cold. So it's perfect for summer um, or just if you fancy a change. So what I'm putting in is some oats and this is just a small snack size. You can change the portion, some chia seeds and some raspberries and then just water. But you can also use plant milk if that's what you want to use. And then basically you just mix this all together. You can give the cup a bit of a shake if you want. And then once it's mixed together, you just want to store it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours. But this is really handy because you can actually store it overnight and then just eat it the next morning. Hence where it gets the name from. And then this is what it looks like and then you just enjoy. So I'm joined with my special friend. Good morning. We're going to make banana oatmeal pancakes and Yuli's actually going to be the one who makes them. You need to check out... Tell them to check out your Instagram because you make really good pancakes. Oh, like thank you. Yeah. Your cheeto? But it's spelled Y O L S C I T A. Yeah, it'll be in the description. Definitely check it out for pictures. You're probably gonna take a picture maybe of this. Yeah, picture. Um, but basically, you need bananas. These are like super ripe. This one's actually like dead looking. Yeah, it could be ripe bananas. But I mean, we, we all vegans know that ripe bananas are the best. Yeah, and then you need some like fine oats, but it doesn't really matter if they're not fine because you can just blend them for longer. And then you also need milk. And you can use whichever type of plant milk you want, but we're just gonna use oat milk today just so these are extra oaty. Yeah. Oat milk's my favorite anyway. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then this, which I've never put in pancakes before, so I think that this might be a crucial ingredient because my it's noise baking powder. goes wrong. You don't need a lot, just like two teaspoons, but it depends. For one person, we say, well, one teaspoon is enough. Yeah. Yeah. This is my cup. <laughs> XXL. <Okay. laughs> it's really two cups because we are hungry vegans. So. Yeah. Yeah. This is breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch. I'm just gonna mix the oats without anything. It's okay, no problem. <laughs> we just put one banana in or two? This third one's enough, but you can also two. I usually do one because. Mm. I want and if you don't have any milk, <laughs> if you don't have any milk, or it's a little mix, it's okay. You can also put some water in. It's okay, I've tried it out, it's no problem. <laughs> it's just like you're like. Okay, so, bananas. Yeah. I think that's a bit. Oh fuck. The one teaspoon of baking powder. This German backpulver. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so banana, oats, cinnamon, baking powder, and milk. If you want to get really nice pancakes, you don't want to make the dough too runny. So this is like just perfect, or maybe even too runny. But if you let it sit, then the oats soak up the rest of the. Oh, okay, cool. So this should be good. But I wouldn't. That's the hack of how you fix things when you mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> so one tablespoon. Tiny pancakes. If you make tiny pancakes, we can make a bigger tower, right? Yes. So one more, and then yeah. 
pigs. Now we only is putting some dates to make date sauce. What's your ingredients? I usually use warm water. Yes. I would use cocoa powder and maybe carrot powder. We don't have any cocoa powder, now, but that's no problem. Mm -hmm. And you don't need anything else. Water, cocoa powder, carrot powder, and dates because the dates are very sweet. So you don't need any sweetener. And super healthy because dates are very healthy. So yeah. Yay! So the pancake stacks are ready. We're just gonna pour chocolate on the sauce. chocolate sauce now. Um, they look really good actually. I think they're high. You only said that they're not that high, but I think that that is a lot actually. Especially because we're gonna put loads of fruit on it. You're such a professional. Mm -hmm. Guys, you've gotta try this sauce though because it's so nice and sugary, mm -hmm. but without having sugar in it. Yeah, exactly. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like these three easy recipes, especially this one, because this took like two hours. <laughs> two hours. Um, I think it looks really, really good though. Like, yeah, it looks really good. Give this video a thumbs up, go and check out the links in my description so you can go and follow Yoli. And yeah, I'll talk Bye. to you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.